welcome. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today, I want to get a jump on the whole New Year's topic. So, I'm going to talk about writing resolutions. Last year, I didn't make any resolutions for myself, for my writing, for anything. And I feel like if I had done that, I would have been a little more focused and uh, had goals. I mean, I had goals, obviously, but I feel like they would have been a little more um, streamlined as far as my approach. So this year, I'm getting a jump on it and thinking about the things that I want to do in the year 2020. It's a new decade. It's a new year. It's time for change. Um, my, I believe 2020 is going to be my breakout year and it might be the breakout year for you too if you're you know just getting started as a writer or if you've been writing for a few years but haven't really found your footing the new decade is the time so um one of my resolutions for um right as a writer one of my <laughs> new year writing resolutions is to get out of my comfort zone so i um, um, everyone has a fear of rejection. I dislike rejection. Like it's one of the things I will go to any length to avoid it. As a writer, you are faced with rejection constantly. And there are times where you, um, are going to, you know, you're going to hear no, you're going to hear no a lot. You're going to get hear no from your pitches. You're going to hear no from agents if you're trying to get books published. Or you're going to hear no from publishers if you're trying to get books published. Um, so no is just a part of uh, the, it's a part of the job, pretty much. Um, there's a quote, and I cannot remember who said it at this moment, but basically he says to get as many no's as possible because the closer, the more no's you get, the closer you are to yes. It's something like that. That's not verbatim, but I feel like um, I have been avoiding the no's. So how am I going to get closer to yes if I'm avoiding the no's? So one of the things that I'm going to do to get out of my comfort zone is to spread my horizons. I'm going to start um, pitching a wider variety of publications. I'm going to try some travel writing. Um, I haven't traveled to do any travel writing, but... That's one of the things that I want to do. So this year, I'm going to make a plan to do a travel piece. And it can just be, you know, I live in the desert, so I can travel from where I am now to another state um, or just to up north to San Francisco and write about that, you know, places to see, things to do, things like that. Um, you don't have to go to foreign places to write travel pieces. And I mean, I would love to go somewhere like Bali, but for um, my budget as it stands, I think, you know, just a car ride would be enough of a travel piece for me, but um, I'm gonna try to branch out into tackling new um, new styles of writing. Um, so travel pieces, I am a fitness enthusiast. Um, I've been on and off doing, you know, fitness journeys and um, diet journeys, things like that. So I um, think I'm gonna pitch a few more um, publications that are geared toward women's fitness, women's mental health, things like that. Um, and then I want to get, of course, that, that encompasses being published in larger markets. And again, that will expand your reach, expand my reach. It'll expand your reach as well. So the more you pitch, the better the chance of being told yes. And, um, you know, that's also encompasses tackling subjects that intimidate me. So um, subjects that are more science-based are more intimidating because they have a lot of research behind them and there are people 
waiting to pounce on any any incorrect information. So those are intimidating to me because I find it uh, annoying or um, problematic when you have someone, people who are, instead of being encouraging, they are, um, they're, they're basically, they're trolls. Their goal is to ruin your day, to tear you down, to make you feel like crap. And I feel like when you, when I, anyways, tackling subjects that I'm a little more uncomfortable with or that I, I'm intimidated by, I feel like the greater the opportunity for that to happen is. So I need to change my mindset on that and get myself out of my comfort zone. So that's uh, one thing that I'm going to do in 2020, and I'm starting to do it now. So, you know, I'm just <sighs> making my plan. Um, another, my next uh, writing resolution is to get a literary agent. Ooh. So the elusive literary agent is the person who sells your book, who sells your manus manuscript to a, public, a publishing house who gets you royalties, who gets you a, um, an advance. It might be a $500 advance, it might be a six-figure advance, but they're the people who negotiate on your behalf to get your manuscript published. Whether you write fiction, um, nonfiction, memoirs, biographies, historical fiction, true crime, you know, the gamut in between all of it, a, a literary agent is the person who will go to bat for you or who is supposed to go to bat for you. So um, last week, last Thursday was Pitch Wars, which is a quarterly pitch um, extravaganza. It happens on Twitter and I missed it. I actually didn't even know about it. Um, and when I saw the hashtag, I I was just blown away because I haven't been focusing on my fiction the way I wanted to this year. Well, in the last six months or so. Um, so I'm going to focus more on my fiction as well. My NaNoWriMo project is still in the works. I did not hit that 5,000 word goal for NaNoWriMo. And that's okay. Um, but I it's a project that I'm working for, on because actually I'm pretty passionate about passionate about the story I just have to let it unfold. And um, so I'm going to try to have that done for the next Pitch Wars. So if any literary agents are watching this and you're going to be participating in Pitch Wars, you um, are going to be hearing from me this next March. That's when the next Pitch Wars is. It's March. Um, and then also I will be querying agents. So I will... Um, work on my manuscript, get it published, get published, get it polished and publishing ready. And um, if I have a successful pitch wars and I get an agent that way, wonderful. If I don't, then I will have to go about querying. And that is another process in itself. And that's where the book, The Writer's Market comes in. Um, I have not got a copy yet, but Christmas is coming up. So I believe that's what I will put on my wish list. That'll actually probably be the only thing on my wish list this year is The Writer's Market because that will be the most valuable thing that I can get. And it'll be the most useful and it'll be the thing that I will be utilizing pretty regularly. Um, my next resolution is to write at least 2,000 words a day, every day, on my fiction projects. I write for other people, um, other companies. I'm right now working on blog posts for a doggy biscuit company, and I'm also writing um, a blog for a legal company. So um, I do work for fee. <laughs> I work for fees, but um, for my own fiction, for my own purposes, I want to focus more on that. And in order to get that literary agent and in order to compete in pitch wars, I need to write every day focusing on my fiction. So that 2,000 words a day, every day um, on fiction is my golden standard for now. And I say that because Stephen King writes 2,000 words a day. And 
I figure, you know, the man has been, you know, writing since the 70s, the 60s. He's been writing since he was a kid. So, you know, he puts in the work and he obviously, uh, you know, reaps the rewards. So I can do that too. Yes, I can. And you can too. If you want to be a published author or if you just want to write for, you know, write for fee. Um, and then I will acquire more clients for my content marketing business. So when I'm not writing for myself, I am doing content marketing, which is the content creation, the blogs, the web copy, the marketing copy that I write. So um, my goal next year is to acquire, I don't even have a percentage right now. So I'm going to shoot for, let's say, two clients a month for the first six months. I'm also going to be tracking my um, my successes in milestones. Um, when you don't track your milestones, you don't track your, your KPIs, your key point indicators, when you're not assessing, you know, from start to finish or periodically, you don't know how, um, how well your processes are doing. You don't know what's successful, you don't know what's not working, and you don't know what should change. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna be tracking things. I'm gonna be keeping notes, making lists, keeping data, things like that, and that I'm gonna be making quarterly, um, quarterly check-ins for myself, and probably weekly or monthly, bi-weekly or monthly check-ins for myself just to make sure that I'm on track and I am hitting my um, my milestones. And in about three months or so, I will check back in with you and see how you guys are doing, if that's what you're doing. If you've set some writer's resolutions for yourselves, let me know what they are. Um, put them down in the comments. I feel like when we share, it keeps us accountable. So go ahead and share what your goals are. If you are, you know, planning to start a blog and you want to make a publication, a publication, good Lord, and you want to publish once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, put it down in the comments. Or if you are starting a YouTube channel and you you know, want to make a video every week or every month or every day, whatever your goal is, put it down in there because I'd love to see them. That will keep me encouraged. And hopefully I, you know, you might find a little bit of inspiration or encouragement in this video. So um, that's about it for this year. Next week, this year, I'm already done with this year. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to talk about my writing process for my fiction. And I don't really have one, but the books that I've written have, there has been a little bit of a process. So I'm going to try to share that with you. Maybe you, you know, maybe you have a process that you'd like to share too. Um, please also leave those in the comments. Any, any feedback you've got, give it to me. I'm open to hearing it. Um, so that is about it. I still have my giveaway going on and it, the winner will be announced or winners will be announced next week. If, um, at this point right now, there are very few entrants and if nobody enters or if nobody gets the um, calendar, I'm going to use that as my content calendar for next year. So I will at least put that to use. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I will catch up to you next week. This has been Creatively Yours with Brandy and I'm Brandy and I hope that you guys have a creative week. Bye-bye.